Hey everybody, if you've been following along with our GB Studio tutorials, you've got to the point where you have a game finished and you have a, the end screen and everything, alright? So, what we're going to do is see how to export it as a ROM and be able to play it on your computer in an emulator. So, if you've got your game all ready to go and you've tested it in the GB Studio emulator, okay, that just runs, that's fine and that works but it may not be as flexible and if people don't have the whole program then they can't play your game so there's a couple of ways to do that they can um, you can share it and they can play it in an emulator so the first thing I'll show you is just uh, downloading that and while that's working we'll export it too so if you go to adamusart.com and go to the video game design section and scroll down here to uh, Visual Boy Advance Emulator. That's the one I've been using. There's a bunch of other ones out there too, but I kind of like this one. So um, click on there and it'll take you here. If you scroll all the way down, I've been using uh, VBAM, this one. I guess because it's just the newest one. So uh, I don't know a lot about all the different versions and stuff, but we'll stick with that for now. So that should download to your computer really fast. It's not a very big file. And then let's uh, export our game. So we're going to go over here to game and export as ROM. Okay. And so we're going to click on that and it's going to run the little wheel over there in the corner. And what it's going to do is build a folder with files um, for the actual ROM and it's going to open that up for you so in your U tutorial you'll now have a folder that says build and it says ROM and in there is a file that is the GB file okay game.gb don't rename this file I don't know it's probably not that big of a deal but it is a big deal when we build for the web and we put it like on itch to not rename this game file so what I do is I'm just going to copy this file for now and then I'm going to paste it to the desktop so that I can find it easily when we get ready to run it in the emulator. Okay, So I'm going to move all of this out of the way and I'm just going to paste to the desktop. Cool. So there's my GB game, right? And we can rename this, okay, you tutorial okay dot gb and then we know where to find it okay so here we go um so we've got that ready to go and then we just need to run the visual boy advance okay so we're going to extract all okay and then we're going to try opening this up it's just a dot exe file so if you just click on it should just run your emulator and open it up okay cool and then file and we're going to open gb okay and we're going to look for that file so it'll be on our desktop now and it should say ututorial.gb and yay it should pop up and it looks a little bit blurry Okay, because of the video, um, what is the pixel filter? There we go. Control G. So if I hit Control and push G, I can scroll through these different pixel filters, and I can find one that looks the best. I think when I was playing around, that was like 12 or 13 or something. It was the clearest. They kind of blur things for a lot of them, and that might work well for some things, but their 13 is pretty good. It looks sharp. It's more in that pixel perfect, but you can click through them all and see how that's going to work, okay? And then there's a few different things that you can do. Um, you can uh, run it. You can go to options here. Uh, let's see. And... We want to do input and configure, and then you can figure out what your controls are going to be. So uh, it'll tell you what keys they are, 
um, in the default, so you can change what you want it to be. So that's like WSAD, the WASD one right now. And if you want to use the arrow keys, then you could clear all of these out and just clear and go down and clear and go left. And you can use the arrow keys if you like that better or put it back to defaults, okay? Or, okay, if you have a controller, okay, so this is like a knockoff NES controller, but it has, what, a USB cable to it. So that means I could plug it in to my computer's USB port, and we'll see if it sets that up correctly, then we might be able to run this from the uh, from the controller, okay? So we'll see if it notices it, okay? So we might want to restart everything. So it's set up and ready to go. Let's um, close the emulator and then let's restart it and see if that gets us where we want to go. So we'll, we'll stop for a second and then we'll make sure everything's working. All right, cool. So I think we're ready to set up. So if you find that you like this emulator, just drag it over to your desktop, okay? And then it'll be there. Or I guess you can leave it over there and then you can create a shortcut. And then you can bring that over there if that's what you want to do. And I don't like that, so we'll just call that VBAM, Visual Boy Advance M. And then we have our emulator there. Okay. And so let's open it up and see what we can do here. So let's go to options and input and configure. And then, so you can use any controller for this. So if you don't have a cool NES knockoff controller like this, you can use your Xbox or your PlayStation controller uh, if it plugs in with the USB cable and do the same thing. So we're gonna clear and click in here. And when I click the up button on the D-pad, it's gonna program that in. And then I'm gonna click here and do down. I'm gonna clear this out and do left, clear this out and do right clear this out and click the select button and the start button. See it added it to all the other ones but I like to just keep it clear and then we'll clear this out and push A and clear this out and push B and there are no L and R buttons on this controller since we're just making uh, Game Boy games and not Game Boy Advance games we don't have to worry about it. So. Let's see what happens here. We can open our file. Oh, it's not looking for, it's looking for Game Boy Advance files and all these files here. So we need to make it look for GB files. Okay, and now it'll find this .gb file. Cool. All right, so now it's popping up on the emulator full screen. And then I'm gonna use the gamepad to do this. Okay, press start. There it is, new game. All right, it is running full screen. Okay, now you can see that the color scheme is a little bit different because it's using uh, Game Boy Color, and so it's changed the sprites and the background colors a little bit from what it was in the regular emulator. So we need to go back and change our colors if we want it to be regular. You might like this. You might think it's kind of cool. Um, but what you can do is go to Game Boy and configure. And then instead of emulating Game Boy Color, we're going to just emulate Game Boy. Okay. And then we can do custom colors here and use this palette. The default palette is gray. So let's see. I don't know. It's still running red with those characters there with the sprites are still red okay but everything else is black and white so we'll see if we can figure out how to make that work i know i've gotten it to work before but i can't remember exactly how 
I've done this whole setup before, so we'll configure. And then the sprites are supposed to be using these colors, but they're not exactly working that way. Real GB colors. Okay. Ooh, that looks terrible. That's not good at all. All right, so configure standard. Okay. We need to get it all black and white. That's what we really want, because we don't want the sprites to be different. It, that kind of gives things away. You know what's background and what sprites. Um, but let's see if we can figure this out just so I can show you, because we're almost done with what we needed to learn. Okay, cool. So all I did was that I closed the emulator and then I opened it back up again. And for some reason, it was smart enough, open recent, to load in the black and white or the grayscale color scheme, okay? And then change the sprites this time too. So now we can walk around and we can do everything that we did before with everything in the gray scale, okay? Yeah, it looks a little bit weird, kind of blown up this big, but it works okay. And we've got our game running full screen, okay? So I don't know about you, but Game Boy games running full screen is kind of cool. Thanks for finding the cat. Meow, thanks. The end. Thanks for playing. Stay here a bit. Let's wait. Oh, that's pretty fun. Restart the game. And then it reloads. With the emulator, you can do some cool things, like you can um, do save states and load states and things like that. So there's some kind of cool stuff that you can do with the emulator, with this one anyway, that you can't do with the other emulator. So if you have gotten yourself to this point and you've tested it out, you can tell your friends and download the emulator and then you can rename your file. And if you want to send it to me, you can do your name, right? And then underscore and then the title of your game. And then just attach that file to an email and send it to me at my school email address and then I'll be able to load it up and play it in my emulator and test it out for you, okay? And that'll be pretty cool. So uh, if you get to this point and you have one that you want to test out, you can do that. Um, in maybe the next few tutorials we'll do some more advanced stuff or at least I'll show you how to build it for the web. Um, if you get it done, then we can post it on our on my itch.io page and then anybody could click on it and just play it in their browser and check it out. So uh, see how you do. Have fun with it. Hopefully it's kind of cool. It gets a little complicated, but uh, I don't know. If you're like me, it was kind of cool to see the characters that you've made and the logic that you input um, actually work and get the game going. So. Uh, check it out. Try it out. Let me know how it's going for you and hopefully some of you will have a game you can send to me and we'll try it out and see what happens. So for now, give it a shot. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.